Hey guys, it's Lexi. <laughs> Feels kind of weird to be back because I haven't made a video in so long. I don't know, I've just been feeling unmotivated, but I want to get back to it. So today's video, I'm going to be doing how I grew my hair because I feel like my hair has grown kind of a lot. So right now I'm going to take my hood off. I haven't taken it off all day. I'm kind of scared, but here we go. Okay, <laughs> not that bad. So right now I have it in, it's in like one of the braid outs that I've been doing. So I have like a twist in the front and then the hair in the back is down. So one of the things I've been doing crazy is braid outs. I haven't done wash and goes in a minute because I feel like I found that wash and goes are like kind of just damaging. Um, so I've stopped doing wash and goes as often. I used to do them literally back to back to back, like wash my hair on Sunday, the whole week do wear my hair down and then Sunday and just do all constantly. But I've started doing wash and goes because I feel, I mean, <coughs> I've started doing braid outs and styles like that because I feel like they're a bit more protective. Um, and wash and goes, I feel like towards the weekend, my hair was just so, so tangled because I didn't comb it out during the week that I ended up ripping out a lot of my hair and causing a lot of breakage. And also that doesn't, wash and goes don't leave a lot of room for like moisture to be held into your hair. So I try to refrain from doing those. Um, so the first thing I use, you guys have seen before, I actually used it in my last video, it's this Salon Pro Hair Food. And I feel like this is one of the things that has really made my hair grow a lot because it's a hair food. Um, it has castor oil in it and it's something that I apply directly to the scalp, but I also put it throughout my hair. But it's supposed to just stimulate growth and I feel like it's giving me some inches because I use that, but I'm running out of that now, so I feel like that's kind of heavy. So this stuff that I've been using for such a long time is just like a lotion, a hair milk, just something to keep my hair moisturized. My ends get dry. Everything is dry. And I like it to keep looking shiny, so I apply it every single night. So once I have the product in, also know I'm making sure to apply a little bit to my scalp as well as throughout my hair. And I'm just taking this, which is my tangle teaser. Well, I guess it's a fake tangle teaser, but you get the picture. And then I'm just doing a simple plait to this one. So once I get to kind of like, so there's like three or four inches left of my hair left, I take a little bit of extra, put some at the bottom. Those. Also, another thing that's really important to keep in mind is the placement of the braids. So even though we're not doing any type of hard part, the only way that I would is if I'm doing <coughs> a part in the front of my hair, because it's really important your curls can be popping like everything looks good but if it doesn't like isn't styled correctly it'll look strange so always know how you want your hair to look in the morning so if you plan on having a middle part for example um make sure that you split your hair in the middle or even use a comb and then do braids on either side i usually end up doing three or four um just because that gives me kind of a loose wave and it's still a little bit fluffy if i have more like Earlier in the week, I had some cornrows that I took down. There was like seven of those. 
um and it was super like flat but it was also like super duper like wavy so if you want like super tight curls or super like tight waves like kind of crimped looking um i recommend doing like maybe seven to eight braids whereas if you want looser three to four Also, if you're wondering like what the heck is going on here, this is a dread I made like a month ago or two when I was bored. I filmed a video of like me recording how I put the dread in my hair and then it was really raggedy and then it got better and it's raggedy again. So um, we just ignore that for now. <laughs> Also, so I do don't have to use rubber bands in my hair. I just put a little like the extra um, product I use at the bottom. I use that to make it a little twist at the bottom. Also, I was kind of not going to talk about it, but th so this is what my dread looks like. Yeah. So here down is locked up, but here to the top just wants to be regular hair. If you want to let me know how to get this top part to lock up, I would just thank you, please. Someone help me. What is up, everyone? It is about... 12 o'clock and I just woke up um it's time to take my hair out this is how I slept I just have my like long like big triangular scarf and I put that on and that works well but just take it down this is what the braids look like they look pretty juicy um nice and moisturized every time you separate one you shouldn't be ripping all the way down because that's going to destroy the curls so just try to be careful when you're doing that Right, so I got the braids taken down. It honestly took me probably about 45 seconds to a minute. I'm not even exaggerating. It's a super quick process. So as you can see, um, like what I was talking about earlier, since I only did three braids, um, the waves are pretty loose. So I'm just gonna take my edges brush and then I can do like a sharper part if that's what I wanna do. That's what I feel like would look better. <clears throat> and then just lay my edges. Um, oh my gosh. So one thing that I started to do that I really feel like has really upped my game has been using edge control instead of Eco Styler, which I used to use like really carefully. Um, I started using this because Eco Styler is like a water base. So whenever my hair is straight um, or just like not curly, it kind of makes it curl up and the edge control doesn't do it as much. So I'm just using this one I got from the Beauty Supply. It's called 24 Hour Edge Lock by Ebon, New York. Um, it's pretty cheap, but this is what I use, sharp hold. So I just do my edges literally the exact same. I'm using my edges tool like I always have, and just getting them done. So I usually try to do like three bumps. We'll see if we can make it. So then I can have my hair like tucked behind and it looks cute. And this is what the final look looks like. Here, do you want to see the back? Also, since I didn't part it, the back should look better too. Ooh, 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 ooh. So this is what my hair looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed. And this is how 
I, with the hairstyle I've been doing, um, pretty faithfully to make my hair grow a lot. And if you like this video, and if you enjoyed this video, or you feel like it was a little bit helpful, I really hope it was. Um, like it, please. And also, like, comment, subscribe. Everything to everything.